in today's video i'm going to be giving you guys the lowdown on books which i have currently been reading i also show you setting up my bullet journal and then i'm also going to show you guys um the, some of the food that i managed to get when uct did occasionally decide to feed us and then i also had some problems with registering for my course there are no first year courses for portuguese but literally in the first year course things of courses we could choose it was there but overall this was a chill video of my first day in quarantine please stay tuned i was hanging with you and then i realized i didn't think it was true i was surprised when i found out i'd fallen for you good morning so i feel like we are going to have a lot of clips from this specific angle me sitting at my desk because the best light comes from the side and i'm probably always going to be sitting at my desk because um university now that i think about it it's like i was actually so excited to come to university and stuff and you know do things but the actual learning part of it i'm like mm, do i actually want to do that though <laughs> but yeah good morning i made coffee which i'm so happy about i have my coffee and i'm gonna start working on some stuff so basically oh number one i need a sim card and i can't go out of this building so i have a friend who lives close by so i asked him if he could bring me a sim card please like buy me one and then bring it to me so in this specific clip i was setting up my bullet journal i've been basically bullet journaling for maybe two years now and i really love it it's a nice way for me to keep organized especially since i'm such a visual sort of person so when i see like pretty things on different spreads it keeps me like motivated i guess and it just lets my creative juices flow Here I was trying to fix my Notion, if you guys don't know, Notion is like an organization type of website where you can basically put all your things together and I really love it because I'm the sort of person who has lots of lists of different things I need to do and things I need to remember lying around so Notion is a really good way to just focus all your important things into one, one spot so that so i just spent a good hour doing this and i finally think i found the perfect spread for me i really like it so i put on a weather widget and then these are my main sections life daily i put on a coat and i put on a clock and then youtube and university i think it's really nice like really simple really clean I like it. I really do like it. Also, if there are any Portuguese speakers who watch my video, please help me. I don't know if it's supposed to be Casa Dan Nobisa or Casa de Nobisa. 
because I tried to Google it, but I couldn't find any answers. So tell me if this is supposed to be an A or an E. I'm really not sure. I got this book while I was in Brazil. It's by Paulo Coelho, who is Brazilian. He's also the person who wrote The Alchemist, which I read and I absolutely loved. Really good book. But this one is in Portuguese. Um, <laughs> Ai, gente. So I'm trying to read it. I haven't started yet, um, but I am going to soon. And I'm really kind of excited. Um, and then also, books I've been reading recently, I read, um, what did I read? Wait, wait a moment. Oh, okay, so a subscriber, if you are watching this video, Brooke, thank you so much. She gave me a book recommendation, which was Juliet Takes a Breath. I started that book a few days ago and I already finished it. It was chef's kiss, incredible. Five stars all around. The only like problem I have with it is that, I mean, it's not really a problem because the book is quite um, old, not really old, but like before 2015 probably. So some of the conversations that were in the book are conversations which we have already had, which conversations that we've already seen. But overall, I think it was a really, really good book. Thank you for that and i'm also reading this one book about oh okay my my registration thingy just came back so i have to check that but um what was i saying oh this book about habits but for me non-fiction books are so i don't like them because they bore me and then i just like end up done finishing them so i have to pace myself and read like i don't know 20 pages a day so that i don't get bored and i'm like actually taking in the information so and now i'm reading genesis begins again which is a book about like a dark-skinned girl she's 13 and like all the problems which she's going through and stuff so those are really really excited i wanted to incorporate more of my reading into my channel but i'm not sure if you guys would be interested interested in that but reading is such a big part of my life like that's my favorite thing to do so i don't know okay wait i was gonna tell you about the other books i've been reading i read the defining decade which is about how you're supposed to take charge of your 20s and stuff like that and it was good but i ended up giving it two stars maybe or three stars because it just felt a bit preachy and I don't know child then I read Dawn by um, Octavia Butler which is like sci-fi kind of vibes it was also um, interesting I'm not gonna say good but it was interesting and I'm pretty sure I read something else I just can't remember what it was right now wait a moment the year of the witching that's the one which i took me long to read but it was also really really good if you want to you can follow my goodreads um i post all the books which i read and i haven't been posting reviews but i do write up sometimes on my notion if a book is really interesting i do write about it but i don't really post the reviews because i don't know i get nervous <laughs> i don't know but i feel like i'm not a good book reviewer and people will judge me so then i just keep the reviews to myself and then also there's no added pressure of like making it perfect i literally just write like stream of consciousness what comes to my mind at that moment i write it down so yeah let me just check what's going on with my registration here then i'll get back to you so i just got my feedback on the thing which i submitted for my courses um and she basically said that there are no first year courses for portuguese but literally in the first year course things of courses we could choose it was there and also um wait and it's in the handbook so i don't know what's going on <laughs> my brain is fried so i'm gonna take a break i might take a nap I'm gonna go now, warm my food, eat, watch something, some YouTube, some Netflix or whatever. Then I might really just take a nap because uh Oh
I just went to get my supper. It looked quite good today. There's vegetables. <sighs> I'm out of breath because I had to walk up like six flights of stairs. Anyways, here I also got some water. And yeah, I'm gonna watch something. Oh, and I still have some juice left over, so I might have some juice. And I'm gonna watch something now. After lots of technical problems, I am finally editing this video and I was looking for funk music because you know this is a video about Brazil that I could use but obviously all of them have copyright. So I was trying to find remixes and stuff and I couldn't find some anything but I think I found something now and I like it because Maria Mendonca is my favorite Brazilian singer. Oh, I love the song. <laughs> I think I'm gonna use this one actually, not the other one. because I kept on waiting for like different pictures and getting different music and stuff like that. I was hanging with you and then I realized I didn't think it was true I was surprised when I found out I'd fallen for you I didn't want to believe my feelings for you I didn't want to believe that I could lose you If I told you just